हेलो एम आई ऑडियो लाइक April. Uh, is there anything specific uh, you would want me to delve into? I'm happy to do that. But yeah. Sir, so can I just request you to switch on your camera? Alright, sure. Yeah. Okay. Now you are visible, sir. Okay, so it was regarding like uh, your journey about the cat, like your. Oh. So as far as I remember, my journey began in what uh, May June 2020. I appeared for CAT 2020. Oh, November CAT, which was scheduled in November 2020. So my journey began then. But I believe what was important for me back then was consistency. I made sure that uh, I knew that I was a bit late. I would say because my counterparts they began the preparation well in advance in like Jan, Feb. and i began in like may but what was important for me was consistency you know like making sure since i was uh, so i was doing a full fledged job i was working as a management consultant at kpmg uh, so i had to manage my job as well but the thing was i made sure that i was taking out let's say 30 40 minutes every day and giving you know right amount of time and and maybe obviously when i had more time so i used to give more time and i was giving balanced effort to all the three section not being biased towards any particular section so yeah like big picture that worked for me so like during 2020 i think it was a covid period right yeah so yeah like, that was how did you manage the online classes and your uh, work to be honest to be very honest mine was like most most of it was self study because i had um, i was quite comfortable with aptitude aptitude tests and things but uh, it was it was tough because it was online and then uh, towards the later part of our uh, you know cat journey we re- we got to know that the exam is going to be you know com- con- more concise of 2 hours because before that it used to be of 3 hours then it became 2 hours so 2 hours is more aggressive and you know you need to be more quicker and more accurate then let's say vis a vis a 3 hour exam because one mistake could you know cost you percentile which could not you know you might be out of the race from i am holy trinity as they say yes, so it was tough but 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 it was a good good you know good journey but consistency is, is what i would say was the key okay so like after your journey now after coming in i am bangalore so how's the life over there life is absolutely amazing over here i believe i am bangalore one of the best campuses the best part about here is the in the best part about the institute to me personally is essentially the flexibility in the curriculum which it offers because curriculum here at i am bangalore is designed in such a way that you you don't end up becoming a bookworm you're like basically you you getting a full chance to explore everything it's not just academics obviously academics is important you know you give decent amount of effort into academic as well but at the same time you're given that leeway that you pursue your passion whatever it is be it sports case competitions test everything so that's the beauty of i am bangalore i would say and the lush green campus i'm sure like you whoever have not visited the campus must visit the campus for inspiration it's a great beautiful lush green campus so yeah life is like absolutely beautiful on on this side of the table let me assure you that and about your first year like um, it was online so it was like more of a hectic schedule for first year for you yeah so and it was not online it was hybrid i was uh, initial two months not not even two months one and a half months was online for us completely online one 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 and a half months which was obviously hectic because yeah you you just step into you know mba shoes and you know a lot of things are going around the most important thing about mba is that you cannot do all the things all the time so you'll have to prioritize and there will be few few things which you have to skip which are very hard to you know let go but once because this, but this is what mba is about it teaches you how to solve problem how to prioritize your work because 
in the real life also you'll be having tens of work as a cx or let's say as a manager as a manager but you need to prioritize so that was quite hectic initial part be it online and the incoming batch so like my junior batch they are having full on offline experience so they also having very hectic schedule despite being all offline so yeah it's hectic initially but then you get used to it and uh, experience now going forward it's going to be offline only so so offline is like the best mb experience and uh, can you just explore like tell us about your classes and extracurricular activities yeah so essentially uh, classes so so classes are also so so best part about bangalore is in first year i remember you used to have class on the monday to thursday then friday saturday sunday was your you know let's say submissions or whatever you would want to do along with uh, you know if if there is any you know mandate or or let's say mandatory session or whatever so schedule is pretty light classes on an average on a, on a particular day you would have like two to three class one class is let's say one and a half hour lecture so you would be having like two two or three classes four days a week that's it uh, and about so what i did beyond uh, my academics so i so it's very important to keep your academics basic academics in check which is fine which i did and then apart from that like i play sport a lot of sport i'm in my cricket and in my college cricket and snooker team i do a lot of case competition i was like uh, number 1 in my first year across india in in case competition ranking which is released by dare to compete and like i i also i, I participate a lot of so i'm part of a lot of you know club society organizing committee now right now vista is going on so i'm part of vista organizing committee which is like a largest business fest so yeah, a lot of things to do to be very honest and I, it's not just me i believe like most of our batch is, is is this way only like they're like doing multiple things at a time and not just academics so like uh, according to you mba is all about managing time then giving priorities and yeah yeah so basically mba is what you you need to learn the management skills so my experience was a bit different because technical skills i already came since i am a ca i had i already had those hard skills which is required for finance where i want to head into but mba is like where you learn the management skills you know how you manage your group how are you outside your classroom you know how you prioritizing your work so that that's where the softer skills are required and and this the that is where i had you know most of my learning from and uh, so can you just elaborate us on your hostel life i heard that it is a covid hostel over there yeah yeah absolutely covid locks and no no boundaries whatsoever so like it's 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 very inclusive environment and we yeah, are like it's a covid so so obviously so basically how it is like the the girls and boys they live but they are allocated hostels on a different floor but given that you have lot of project work team work and lot tons of things going around it so it's it's absolutely there's no 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 boundation or no supervision as such You're free to move around wherever you want to okay and uh, uh, your event is going on something right now right can you just brief us about the yeah event? yeah so one of the events is prodigy which is a case competition specially targeted at uh, undergraduate students wherein uh, folks need to register uh, as an individual participant it's there on unstop i guess it's a nominal fee of 199 very very good or, or let's say simple business problem which the students will be getting wherein they'll just have to solve the business via three slider submission and uh, out of all the submissions towards the end 45 folks will be getting the prize money so i would say it's a quick win and a good learning experience for those who might be interested okay so sir there just a last part there are few questions from the student yes. uh it was regarding the cat preparation uh yes. something did you have a one section approach no as i mentioned for me it was like a balanced approach i am never biased towards any section because but but uh, somewhere i knew that i am good at quant and dilr and like vrc something which i need to buckle up but still i was very much balanced in my approach because i have seen folks who score in like 
one section then you don't meet the threshold because for 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 you know institutes like abc you well, you know basically in order to get a good percentile you'll have to balance your percentile it cannot be you ace one percent one section and then you don't even meet the thresholds so for me it was always a balanced approach despite vrc being the weaker section for me and uh, next question is about like uh, since you have elected finance as your subject right yeah so like can you just give us a brief idea about finance not just finance as a subject but as a career as well finance as you require I mean, basically it's it so as as most of the mba students i also was in a dilemma dilemma to choose consulting versus finance since i come from a consulting i did consulting before then i realized that like hard hard subject hard subject is what attracts me because consulting is more on a softer aspect where you know you can get business problem from any field of domain so but i wanted to be more essentially at the end of the day i wanted to specialize so that's why i picked finance because i want to do one particular type of things obviously with different for different businesses so that is where and obviously the money aspect is if you're being like paid thrice than any other job so why not okay. so okay then i think there are no more questions right now okay so just like wrap up the session and before wrapping up i want to request let's few words from our students from your side so i would say i'm assuming that these the students are still preparing for the cat i would say please focus on your cat just cat don't think much about other things or obviously have your colleges in mind but for the timing what's in your hand is the process the process is to cat oh, crack cat please focus on cat once you ca- crack the cat then then perhaps you know go all in for your interview prep and college and things so yeah and, and please be consistent you know like don't don't skip a day like make sure you study be it for like 30 minutes please study and whenever you can take out time just sit, sit in a long stretch and practice and practice that's it so the more you practice the better you get okay so thank you sir it was good to have you on board today yeah thank you so much likewise all right okay have a nice day everyone bye